Hey guys, it's Neil again from Guitar Theory Revolution, and this is another presentation about the circle of fourths and fifths. Specifically, how to memorize it and how to find that information on the fretboard. Now, I often say that the guitar is one of the best instruments to learn music theory on, and this presentation will show you why. But first, we need to memorize this uh, information. We have to have a mental image of the circle of fourths and fifths in our mind because when we're playing music, when we're playing the guitar, we don't want to have our mental focus on trying to remember this information. We want to be focused on playing music. So if we have this memorized, it will uh, you know, free up our mental energy. So a really easy way to remember it is as follows. We'll start on the bottom right hand side and we're going to spell out the letters B E A D. Now this is in the direction of fourths or uh, five frets on the guitar. So B E A D spells out the word bead. That's easy enough to remember, bead. Then we get G C F, which I remember as get close friends or get cool friends. Next we get the sharps and flats. Remember, this is just one note but it has two names. It can be either an A sharp or a B flat. It lies between the A and the B. So you get A, A sharp, B. Or in the opposite direction, B, B flat, A. It's the same thing. So we're going to forget about the sharps and concentrate on the flats. Look what we get. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. It's the same, bead, but in flats. And then you get G, G flat in fact. So you get bead, get close friends, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. So you can see that's a really easy way to remember the circle of fourths and fifths. So what I want you to do is get a blank piece of paper and draw a circle with 12 spokes and then write out the names of the, the notes around the circle of fifths. After that, I want you to again draw out a circle with 12 spokes, but this time try and visualize the circle of fourths and fifths in your mind, and then um, write down the note names, but not in any specific order. So uh, do it randomly. So maybe uh, do the F, and then the B, and then the G sharp, and then the D, and then the G. You know, because what you want to do is you want to uh, stop relying on remembering it in one specific order and really get a visual image in your head of what the circle of fourths and fifths looks like. Because what we're going to do later in, uh, in uh, later lessons is we're going to uh, look at the relationships between the different notes. So, for example, between the C and the A. And you want to be able to visualize that relationship. Uh, in this case it's a, a 90 degree angle between the C and the A. Okay, so let's link this information to the fretboard. Now there's several ways we can do this, um, but in this lesson I'll just cover one. Okay, here's an image of a fretboard for a right-handed guitar player. So that's somebody that frets the strings with their left hand and strums with their right hand. Imagine the, the guitar head on the left side here and the fretboard continuing on on the right all the way up to the bridge. Now what you need to know about the guitar is that it is tuned in fourths from the low string to the high string. With a with two small different uh, exceptions, but I'll tell you about those in a moment. So from this low E string to the A string is a fourth, and from the A string to the next one is another fourth, and then another fourth. But pay attention because it's not a fourth straight up like this to the next string. You actually have to skip over. A fret towards the bridge to get the next fourth 
and then the next fourth continues as normal up towards the last string. So what you get is a pattern like this. And there are several reasons for this. One is because if you continue to enforce all the way across the strings, then the top string and the bottom string would only be a minor second apart. And that is the most dissonant sounding interval. So that would impede you if you wanted to play uh, guitar chords all across uh, the, the neck. And uh, this way of tuning the strings in fourths across the first four and then just skipping up one fret to finish off, um, that allows you to play nice chords all across the neck. But what that does mean is that the top string and the bottom string are the same. So this is the low E string and you can see an F on the first fret, F sharp, second fret, etc. and the same here. So here's the pattern again, and here it is again. Okay, now look here at the seventh fret. Here you have B, E, A, D. Remember that's the circle of fourths and fifths, well specifically the circle of fourths in the anti-clockwise direction. So that's B, E, A, D. And what do you get next? G, C. Now remember this, the top and bottom string are the same. So you get F, and then B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. D flat is down here as well. G flat. B, E, A, D. D is down here as well get close friends. See how the pattern repeats? So you can see that the circle of fourths and fifths is right there on the fretboard because of the way that it's tuned. So it's in fourths from the low string to the high string and obviously the opposite, opposite direction is in fifths from the high string to the low string. So this is something that not many guitar players know. This is the essential DNA of Western music is right there on the fretboard uh, for you to discover. And it's actually present in several other ways, but the way I've just shown you, the way it spirals along the fretboard, that's uh, one of the most important ways that you can see the circle of fourths and fifths uh, on the guitar. Right, that's it for this presentation. I will have more presentations about the circle of fourths and fifths, so look for those in the future. Uh, in the meantime, if you want more lessons about this topic or other music theory topics, head over to guitartheoryrevolution.info where you'll find more lessons, more diagrams, more videos, as well as some free uh, ebooks that you can download uh, when you uh, join the exclusive GTR newsletter. So head over to my site and check out those free lessons.